here is the completed arm. Uh, it's 40 inches long. It has 11 and a half inches of width, so plenty of surface area. The support bracket, uh, the support arm, folds into the main arm, and then the main arm just folds down into the mounting mounting pieces. Uh, that's what it is. You can just download the link below, or you can stick around and watch how I made one. Here is a three-dimensional rectangle that I have that's a representation of the cabinet I'm going to put it on. This cabinet is 24 inches deep, 42 inches wide, and 38 inches tall. With the saw mounted on top of it, it has a bed height of 41 and a half inches off the ground. So if my, ar if my arms are 40 inches long, I can fold them down and they won't touch the floor. So to start designing the arm, I'm going to draw uh, on this corner and just move it all up onto this reference plane once it's all completed. So R for rectangle and I will draw this at a distance of 1.5 by 0.75 inches. And I will P for pole, distance of 40 inches. Space bar to select and triple click G to make component. Now I'm going to have this uh, banding piece on both sides of the plywood so I can use the M for move and then press control to copy and I will copy one piece right next to the other. With uh, the move command still engaged I can move the second piece 10 inches away. 10 inches away, there you go. And off a rectangle to draw my plywood in between. It's a three quarter inch plywood that is 10 inches wide and I will pull it up to this face. Space bar to select and I can triple click G create component. Now that's basically the top side of the arm already done. Uh, I'm going to hide these two pieces back here that way I can start uh, creating the, the uh, support pieces. On the bottom side, I'm going to draw a rectangle that is, we'll go with 0.75 by 10, and I'll pull it down 11 inches. That's the bracket that it's going to pivot on, and also the bracket it's going to mount to the cabinet. Now, I if, if I want this to, to swivel on this point right here in the middle, let me right click and hide this. If I want it to swivel right here, then I need to round over these corners. So while I'm still editing this part, I will use T for the tape measure and draw a reference point line that is 0.375 inches, 0.375, which is half the distance of the thickness, and C for circle. Now I'll use C for circle, and if I already put my mouse over the midpoint, I can reference off that midpoint and bring it back up to the top. Doing so should allow me to have one and two profiles to remove. So I can P for pull and I want to pull this off to this referenced edge back here to remove it. P for pull, pull that off that referenced edge back there. Now I can delete my half circle, delete my guideline, triple click, G to make component. Now I have the mounting piece that this will swivel down on. Um, the, the arm that comes down to brace it has to have this round over as well. So all I'm going to do is T for tape measure. And I'm going to make a line that's going to be, let's see, 17.5 inches. I've already played around with this a little bit, so that's the correct distance. And M for move, plus sign with the control button to copy. And if I put my mouse over the circle, that allows me to snap to the center point of that circle. Now to move it, I want to move it along the red axis. And once the red axis is visible, I can hold the shift key and make it uh, a thick red axis, which will constrain me from moving any other, any other direction uh, other than the red axis. So now I can just bring it to my uh, guideline and drop it there. Now, I need to make this longer, but if I edit this piece, since it is a copy, it'll, it will adjust both pieces. So I can right-click and make unique. Now it is a separate part instead of a copy. 
this piece is 11 inches in length and I need to go to 21 and 3 quarter so I need to double click to get into edit P for pull this face pull it down 10.75 inches click away and there we go now this is going to be rotated into this direction but first I want to put the uh, the stop block in place and it's going to be the same profile as this so I can use my rectangle command to basically just draw it out without measuring it's going to be a three inch block and I will triple click G for component and I will move it with the spacing of let's see I want the blue axis spacing of 1.75 inches in between and that should allow enough room for the end of this to be rotated into place. Now I need to rotate the item. So click the item to rotate, grab the rotate button, and as my planes change, so does the cursor color. So if I stay on, G on the green, which is what I want to stay on, and hold the shift key, then no matter where I move, it stays rotating along that axis, or along that plane, rather. So, like before, I put my mouse on the circle, which allows me to select the center line, center point of that circle. Uh, start my movement over here and end it. And I'm just going to eyeball this. I want it to end somewhere along there. That's fine. Now, let's see, I can delete my guide. And these two items are intersecting. So what I can do is double click to edit the stop block and just use the line command to trace out the intersection. Whoops, that last line didn't work. Line to trace out the intersection. like so. And I can use the pull command to pull or push to remove all the way up to this back edge. Now to see if that worked I can hide this real quick and you can see the cutout in which it sits in. So edit, unhide, last. Now if I unhide all of it, that's what I need to do, unhide all we can see it all assembled. Now just to move this up I can start clicking on everything with the control key make sure I got the back piece and I will move it from this corner in the blue direction so hold down shift constraints on the blue line axis and I will say stop it at that vertex and there you go. Now if I wanted to make a copy, since it is all selected already, I can use the M command, press control to copy, and I will go along the red axis, holding shift to constrain it to the red axis, and stop along that vertex. Whoa. All right. Now with it over here, I can right click on it and flip the entire selection along the red direction. And there you go. I've got both my arms done. This arm will be lifted up just slightly to remove this piece and it'll swivel into this channel right here out of sight and then the entire arm will swivel down and it will straddle these bracket pieces and they will be out of sight as well. So, hope you liked it, hope you can build one of these and I'm sure I'll be building one myself.